How expert! Top 10 tourist attractions and things to do in Rochester, New York. How Expert publishes how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Tourist Attractions and Things to Do in Rochester, New York. Number one, Sea Breeze Amusement Park. Sea Breeze Amusement Park is the place to be if you love history and want to catch some classic summertime fun with family and friends. First opened in 1889, Sea Breeze marks itself as the fourth oldest amusement park in the United States. It is also the home of the world's oldest continually operating roller coaster, the Jackrabbit. The park may be over a century old, but that doesn't mean there aren't any fun modern attractions to enjoy. In fact, there are 25 park rides plus a popular water park to have a splash and cool down on those hotter days. Number two, George Eastman Museum. The George Eastman Museum is sacred piece of Rochester's unique history and identity, making it a must-see for history and photography buffs alike. As for the world's oldest photography museum and home of Kodak founder George Eastman, you can explore the fascinating history of photography and film and get a glimpse into the life of Eastman himself. The museum offers an intimate and interactive look into photography's earliest days and how it has progressed into the modern investments that we see today. Not only that, Eastman's grandiose home decor and garden make it a spectacle, a spectacle to behold that you just can't miss. Number three, Highland Park. Highland Park is one of Rochester's most famous sightseeing locations, thanks to its gorgeous landscape that bursts with delightful flora and attractions. The 150-acre park is home to one of the country's oldest arboretums, containing local wildflowers, exotic trees, and over 1,200 lilac shrubs. The lilacs have become such a staple that the park holds an annual lilac festival, one of the most popular springtime events in the city. The festival features craft beer and wine tastings, hundreds of food options, kids activities, vendors, an award-winning art and craft show, parade, and several musical acts for your entertainment. Number four, the Strong National Museum of Play. The Strong National Museum of Play is a great place to visit if you have kids and want a fun day filled with entertainment, imagination, and excitement. The museum holds the world's largest collection of historical materials related to play and offers a variety of toys, games, activities, and exhibits for children of all ages to enjoy, many of which star beloved figures from Sesame Street, the Ber Berenstain Bears, <laughs> and more. Kids can spend the day learning and playing with the interactive spaces that further enhance their development and cognition. Although the Strong Museum is primarily dedicated to children, adults will have just as much fun interacting with the exhibits and learning about the history of the exploration of play. All in all, it's a truly special place that will create memories that last a lifetime. Number five. Ontario Beach Park. The city of Rochester rests right alongside Lake Ontario, making Ontario Beach Park an excellent spot for a nice beach day to cool off by the lake. All this natural sand beach, you can sunbathe, play beach volleyball, or have a bite to eat at the food concessions. If you'd rather enjoy the water, you can jump in for a refreshing swim, go fishing along the pier, or take a boat out on the lake. For beautiful views of the shoreline, take a scenic walk down the pier. You can also picnic in the shade or listen to live music in the pavilion. No matter what kind of beach day you want, there's an option for everyone. Number six, Artisan Works. Artisan Works is one of the best places to check out Rochester's local art scene and admire it in a unique and accessible way. As, for, as a not-for-profit space, anyone is free to enter 
and stroll through the 40,000 square feet renovated factory at their own pace. The property holds nearly 500,000 pieces of art, antiques, and memorabilia. You can even catch local artists creating the work on site and observe the art making process in real time. If you're itching to learn more about the creative space, Artisan, Artisan Works offers guided tours designed for different groups of all ages. They last about 45 minutes and are easiest to book on the weekends. Number seven, House of Guitars. If you're a music lover and guitar enthusiast, you definitely can't miss out on visiting the House of Guitars. The House of Guitars is the biggest guitar shop on the planet and was created in 1964 by brothers Bruce and Armand Shabrook. As And as you can guess, it has gained a lot of fame having been visited by some of the biggest names in rock history, like the Beatles, Ozzy Osbourne, Aerosmith, and more. Not only is it a guitar shop, but it's also a studio, a repair shop, a school, and a record store all in one, making it a one-stop shop for all things music. Number eight, Park Avenue. Park Avenue is a charming little neighborhood strip that is popular favorite among locals with several unique places to shop, eat, drink, and more. Here, you can eat at some of the best breakfast, brunch, and dinner places in the city, shop at the local artisan boutiques, and enjoy a nightlife at the many lively bars located along the Strip. If you're up for some pampering, you can also come by for a haircut, massage, or even get yourself a tattoo. At Park Avenue, there's always something interesting to do. Number nine. Nick Tauhats. You can visit Rochester without dropping by Nick Tauhats to try the city's most famous culinary dish called the garbage plate. As unappealing as the name may sound, it's quite the contrary. If you like traditional American barbecue food, you'll love the garbage plate. First, choose your meat. Hamburgers or hot dogs are popular. Then dump on some home fries, macaroni salad, and baked beans. Finally, top it all off with chopped onions. Rochester's signature spicy meat sauce and mustard, and you've got yourself a garbage plate. Number 10, Susan B. Anthony's house. As one of the most influential figures to have ever resided in Rochester, Susan B. Anthony's house is certainly worth the visit. Her home can be found on the west side of Rochester and it's open for tours all year round. It's a fantastic place to commemorate and learn more about her incredible life and the powerful influence she has made for women's rights. Next door, there's a home that's been turned into a wonderful little museum about her life. You can also visit her gravesite close by at the Mount Hope Cemetery.